my modeling experience, how I got involved, and maybe some fun tips and tricks. I got started modeling ooh, when I was probably eight years old. I was a part of my dance studio and they had a flyer for a like convention-y type thing where basically we would be learning from the cast of Hairspray. At our final showing, they had scouts there. Well, I was little, I was going to have fun. I thought it would be cool. I loved musical theater. Not knowing anything about the modeling world, I just danced and I, at the time, competed in one pageant. Before we left, when the agents pulled me and my mom to the side and said, oh, we love her look, we love her, she's so sweet, blah, blah, blah and basically gave us their card. I really had no clue what was going on, but my mom was a little apprehensive at first. We looked them up, they were legit. We contacted them and had a meeting in New York. I signed with them and I started going on go -sees. A lot of this took place in elementary school and middle school, and I, would, I was really close to being homeschooled because I was out of school so much because I was going on so many go -sees. From there, I started getting jobs. I did a bunch of stuff I did. Target, I did Claire's glasses company, I did shoe wear, braces, I did a lot. The modeling agency I was signed with was also a sister company with a, a talent agency for film. And so I actually ended up signing with them and I did commercials. As I became a teen, I kind of stopped modeling for a little bit. It was just really difficult. I was focusing on other stuff like dance. At one point, I signed with a boutique agency, which just means like a smaller agency in New York City. I didn't get sent out on a lot. It was so difficult for a while. Um, I never really cared when I like wouldn't get a job because usually if you get the job, you hear from the agency saying you got the job. Um, if you didn't hear anything about a casting, it means you didn't get the job, simple as that. I think one of the hardest things when I was like, especially in middle school and like elementary school with modeling was if I had to miss something. I missed our big fifth grade trip. So that was like the first time I had to choose between like modeling and working and doing something fun with my friends. I think that's like one of the weirdest things, especially about growing up in modeling is like you really have to make relatively tough decisions, I guess. It doesn't seem like it. I'm very privileged and honored to be able to say I had to choose between those two things, but like definitely when you're in it, it's like, I'm a teen. I wanna have senior day. I wanna hang out with my friends. Present day, um, I don't have an agency right now, but I'm looking to sign with someone soon. I'm just kind of going with the flow right now because it's like, I know opportunity will come. Thanks because of Miss Teen USA and making pageant history, I have been able to do some really fun magazines. I did the Oprah magazine, I did Essence, which was freaking amazing. Just like the outfits and the crew, like the black power that was like, there, like I felt it, it was really cool. My tips for modeling, especially if you're not a part of it yet, is do your research. Look up agencies around you, watch videos of models, like of walking, of photography, how a photo shoot goes, how, to, how a video shoot goes. Do your research, know what you're getting into. Agencies are different. They're all different. They all have different looks that they shoot for, people that they want, looks that they want, everything. Try your best not to be hurt by rejection because I've been rejected so many times. It just comes with the territory. You just gotta learn to live and love and laugh with it. Your time will come. Just gotta be patient and work your booty off. It takes hard work. I love modeling because you meet so, so many people. Like, so many people, so many different photographers, makeup artists, hair artists, directors, uh, like everybody behind the scenes. You meet so many people and that can help you if you ever um, need to connect with someone. Like you're gonna have met them and you're gonna make all these connections. When it comes to posing, that definitely takes practice as well. You have to get so comfortable within your own body to be okay with being awkward, looking awkward. Like modeling is not just like standing with your hands on your hips and smiling. Like sometimes they have you do weird like avant-garde poses. You gotta teach yourself like it's good to look awkward sometimes, you know, like be, being comfortable within yourself enough to like be okay, be like looking awkward. Some of my inspirations, Halima for one, also know her in person, freaking love her, like a oh, great human being. Zendaya, like I know she does way more than modeling, but also Zendaya modeling, oh, 
so beautiful. So powerful. Jillian Mercado, she's breaking bounds. Winnie Harlow. When I said before, do your research, like it's okay to look at other girls' walks. Like you're gonna, with practice and getting comfortable, you're gonna end up making things your own. I'm looking forward to the future, not gonna lie. I'm excited for what's gonna happen. I know that it will be great. I believe in myself, myself. I believe in the connections that I make and the growth that I will have. Thanks for watching. I hope you got a little bit out of me sharing my modeling experience and a few little tips. You can do it. I love you all and I will chat with you all soon.